to do something probably really stupid and inefficient. Uh, and I'm going to, again, uh, select joints. This is what I want for select joints. Selection, I just, I don't need type joint. I just want selection true. So this will go to the first letter and uh, store it. Man, I forget why it does that, but at this point it doesn't matter, it does it. So this is how I was naming the rig joints. There maybe there's a better interactive way, but I feel like I, what I'm trying to avoid as well is a whole lot of GUIs, uh, graphical user interfaces, at least for my own stuff uh, so that it's just a click of a button and it is what it is and it does what it does. That's where I am for right now. So what I want to see is if not pm.obj exists. So if there is already not an object and I wonder if I should just create this as a uh, well I'm just gonna do it as it is and if I figure out actually that could be an experiment so let's try this I'm gonna create some variables so I'm gonna call this fkik null oh right that's why I can't do that yet all right oops Darn it. Okay, if it doesn't exist, because if I create it first, so first I want to see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my FKIK switch into a null group that I can connect and uh, trigger so I can I want to connect that to any other controllers or places that I want it to be able to be. So maybe I, I want to make a FKIK switch that follows the hand. Maybe I want that to be plugged into multiple different uh, places so or reflected in multiple different places. So this was my thought and my idea. It's probably not 100% necessary or even 2% necessary, but if there is not an object named uh, how I would name it, which would be uh, fkik underscore group is what I want to name it. So I'm going to dot format FK IK group. All right. And the problem being, I don't have variables for those or global. So FK equals FK IK equals IK. And the point of this is if I decide to change what I want that to look like, I can change it here and it'll change globally. So if there's not an object that's called FKIK group, create it. FKIK underscore null equals PM dot create node. And there's a way you can do PM, I think, group. And I'm curious as to what the difference is there. I don't know what it is. Um, so my type is going to be transform group. Uh, and its name will be this. So if this doesn't exist, make it and call it that. 
Okay, and else I think is probably the better thing to do than what I had been doing. Create FK IK null. Else same thing. Oh, uh, it's already created, so else this equals pi node. So this is different than exist, assign it to this variable, and I will be right back. And we're back. I just paused it there. Alright, so I create this. Uh, if it's not there, create it. If not, assign that variable to it. So, either create it and give it the variable name, or assign it to this variable name if it's already existed because if I've done like the left arm or it's already there then um, I just want to add to it then what I want to do is create a variable fkik uh, attributes will equal so I want to create uh, add some attributes and I want to call them depending on their side, right? So um, so up here I have side. So if it's left side of those arms, it will assign it left. Uh, arm, arm is not a global variable yet. Uh, and this is for, so this would be named left arm fk ik uh, attribute that will go onto the node or the null group. Uh, then I'm going to Take fk ik null dot add attribute because now since I've selected it or created it, uh, it's now a Python object. So I can directly add the attribute to it. Uh, so I'm going to add the attribute called. FK IK attribute says so I'm going to add it under this name, which I could just have typed this in here, but uh, sometimes it's easier to keep track of things. And if I need it again, it's there. Add attribute FK. So, and this is going to be attribute type equals. So this will be a float number, so it's going to go from 0 to 1 and uh, decimals in between. So not an integer, but I do want it to show up. Keyable equals true. Min value. And I know there are shorter ways to do this, but this is just for clarity. In Min value is 0. Max value is one, so zero for FK, one for IK. So I'm just kind of going in the order that I'll have it listed on the nodes and listed. Um, so it'll be an FK, IK switch. So zero will be FK, one will be IK. Uh, so min value and it should default at zero. I actually might want it to default at one. Let's do that default value equals so it's actually going to start out, I'm going to push Alt-Z here, it's going to start out 